The reason why it's so difficult to identify is really because of the wide spectrum of symptoms that it can cause, right? And this can be as mild as brain fog or anxiety, or it can be as severe as Parkinsonism, a condition which might mimic multiple sclerosis. It can be tremors, it can be neurological conditions, it may manifest as neuropathy, may manifest as difficulty with motor coordination. In its most severe form, it can be a loss of speech, visual disturbance, and, uh, and paralysis as well. Uh, peripheral neuropathy, fibromyalgia type pain, heart failure. This can be any kind of arrhythmia, problems with uh, circulation, edema or fluid retention, or difficulty regulating their blood pressure. You can be deficient in a single organ. It's preposterous to assume that, you know, testing is, is, is really accurate at all. Sometimes what present is gut conditions, whether it's small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, hypochloridria, so low stomach acid, gastroparesis. Now, if you don't have enough B1, the autonomic nervous system linking in with the enteric nervous system, you don't get the right communication. And right. what that means is, is the organs start producing less of what they're meant to produce. That means less stomach acid. That means less digestive enzymes. Right. There's no one way in which people will present if they have B1 deficiency. They can have Got some it. symptoms. They might not have other symptoms. Some of the main effects of B1, I don't think are involved in addressing a deficiency. In fact, I think many of the people who benefit are not deficient to start off with. Look, what we are doing is we are not trying to address a deficiency. In fact, what we're trying to do is stimulate enzymatic activity in areas of the body which has been like inhibited by other causes. Basically, where the body loses the ability to undertake certain processes which need thiamine, massive doses can be needed to stimulate those activities.